Welcome back everybody to some more control. Picking up exactly where we left off where we found out that the slide projector is in its own department or in its own location. Um, I'm here back at the cleansing point and we're going to hit up this uh, timed his nodes executive in the communications department. So let's go. So it looks like Dead Letters gets us to the communications department the fastest. Yep. That's no normal piece of paper. Is it this way or am I going the wrong way? Oh, that's dead letters. That's mail room. Okay, I need to go upstairs. Missing something? Hold on. Oh, okay. I have to go through here to get to the communication department. Okay. There's one right there. the last one. Hey, something was going right over here. Here it is. Still fighting. Oh. Good. So all of that, and it was just around the corner. Wow. Here, let's see what we have. I think I picked up a bunch of junk mods. You know what? 
I've had this for a long time. Just learns another object to power a safe and any obstacle. Give that a shot. I don't think I've been to the training course yet. Maintenance field training? Alright. Actually, it looks like I can take the access corridor. Yeah, let's try this. Down the floor. Is it the containment sector? Yeah, let's try that. field training course. The course must be completed in the sp specified amount of time. When you're ready to start, press the button. Is that all, or...? I always did love obstacle courses. Get ready, Ranger. Course starting in five, four, three, two, one. Go. Go. Five seconds remaining. Thirty seconds remaining. That's useful.
Well, I should have came and got that a long time ago. See what else we got. This is in central research, this is in dimensional research, so I might as well. Okay, let's go to central research. For every altered item or object of power with an audio well, the mission is this a timed mission or is this something I can do later? Okay. I'll send a team to contact Langston and get that information, sir. If he asks why, what do we tell him? There's something over there on the other side. Sound. So any countermeasures designed for similar altered items yeah. I found this token. Any idea what it does? Ah, that is a jukebox token. Little bastards turn up in the weirdest places, like bad pennies. The rangers use them to activate an old object of power. A jukebox, I assume. Does it have any good songs? Nope, just the one record. Hey, be careful turning it on, though. When it's playing, you get a free trip to the formation. The formation? That sounds ominous. Why does it send you there? The Bureau had been wondering that for years. I mean, it's just a pile of rocks built by God knows who, but... Well, researchers have confirmed it's in the same threshold as the quarry. Well, no one's ever been able to map a physical route to the formation for maintenance. So it's in the quarry? You just don't know where? Pretty much. We only send in annual expeditions to the formation now. Checkups, Salvador calls them. This year's team went in the day the Hiss arrived. Come to think of it, the song should have run back hours ago. I can go in and take a look. I'd appreciate that. The jukebox is kept just past the security booth over there. Just put in a token and enjoy the ride. What do you know about Dr. Darling? Uh, I, about as much as anybody, I guess. Head of research, loves to hear himself talk. All of those science types absolutely do. Uh, he's been acting a little bit psycho recently. Although HR told me not to use that word, so... Everyone thinks finding Darling will lead us to the answers. But if he's completely lost it, then what help could he be? What's the deal with Blackrock? Oh, fuck. Don't get me started on Blackrock. You know, ever since research found out that it blocks paranatural stuff, they have just been parading dangerous materials in and out of the fucking quarry. Oh, fucking lab coats, man. Sounds like there's some tension between departments. Still, at least the quarry's got a good view of the night sky. You know, me and Salvador used to have after-work beers down there. You're security, right? Do you work with rangers? Not often. Rangers are specially trained in threshold reconnaissance and ground zero AWE response. Security is more interested in the dangers inside the bureau. They must see some weird stuff out there. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, every week they are tackling things that were previously unknown to the human experience. Most rangers, they retire due to cognitive collapse. I looked up the medical definition. Not fun. How does the Bureau handle thresholds? Handle might be a bit of an optimistic way to put it. Um, Marshall sends the rangers in to map them, check growth rates, locate epicenters, take samples, measure stuff. Sounds like he's done his homework. Now, down in maintenance, thresholds are used just like any other tool. The lab coats mine black rock from one, maintenance siphons water from another. We use it for pretty much everything, except drinking. 
Why don't you drink it? Do I even want to know? Uh, yeah, a lot of time we find these little chunks in it. It's uh, pretty gross. I didn't want to know. What do you think of Marshall? Marshall? <laughs> Marshall's a fucking badass. Rangers could not ask for a better leader. She's a little, uh, you know, intense, but given the stuff she's seen, I'm not surprised. She does have a bad habit of disappearing, though. Where does she go? Uh, last time she vanished, I did some digging into the security logs. I found camera footage of her entering the quarry. She was down there alone for days. Now, typically that's not allowed, but Marshall is kind of above the rules. I wonder what she finds so interesting in the quarry. I have to go. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. See you soon. Hello. This is Lynn Salvador, head of Bureau Security. I'm making a formal security order due to the incident in April. Okay, it's jukebox time. Let's see what this is going to do for us. Okay, challenging expedition that grants rare rewards. Oh, okay. So this is just like, um, not like a charity, but like a challenge mode. Okay, just so you can get some mods and um, expedition gear. Me, do I have? Oh, I have to beat each one. Okay, well, let's give one a shot. Okay, so this is me. I actually did give the expedition a shot and it failed miserably. I'm definitely going to have to upgrade a little bit so I can get a little bit faster at it. Um, I will come back and do it again, give it a try, and I'll record it and show it to you guys when I'm a little bit better at it. So, for now, let's go back to what we needed to do. I think that probably other mission is probably long gone. Yeah, we currently have... Oh yeah, we got to go to Central Research, and then from there we can also go to the Dimensional Research. So let's go ahead and take care of the old growth. I think I can take the elevator yeah. there. The darkness engulfed the elevator. There was something there. Reaching for her. Trying to make her act. It was a distress call. Phaeton sensed a drowning man. A hunger in the dark. Investigation sector. Investigation sector, huh? We should check this out. Let's hit up the... Oh, what is the investigation sector real quick? Okay, yep. let's go to the investigation sector. a lot more crowded than the rest of the bureau. Hmm. It's not working. Okay, so we have I'm a generator power there. Core somewhere. Let's
pick up all these documents. through the window when I could have just used the door. Oh well. Do we know each other? I feel... this feels familiar. I can't seem to... I, I've forgotten it. I'm sorry. I'm... My name is Alan Wake. friend Tom. Tom Zane. There's nothing to worry about. Tom. The poet. The diver. You, you look different. That was just a, a role. A character. The protagonist I played in my, my old film. I'm a filmmaker. An old terror like yourself. We're working on this together, remember? An artistic collaboration. You need a drink. was Alan Wake, the writer who went missing in that AWE case I read about. What's he doing here? And Thomas Zane was with him. The poet. No, wait. D -d he was a filmmaker. I, I always remember that wrong.
darkness became the thing that had been Harbin. Broke loose. Killed everyone it could. Lurking, roaming, waiting. Then something else came. A resonance. The thing that had been Harbin went through another change. That game to game connection. <laughs> so awesome that they're in the same universe. Can't go this way. Let's try the other way. I'll probably have to jump over that um, creature. there. I'm trying to think. Yeah, that's the only way. Alright, let's give it a shot. Smooth. Ooh, nerve wracking. Palms are sweaty. Creepy, damp, and abandoned. Why did Wake want me to come here? Great on 
shield. Let's get the energy up. Okay, that's where I can buy more jute box tokens. Nice. What can be upgraded? Check that my weapon mods were. Fun on chance of hit. Yeah, I'll give that a shot. And what new personal mods did we get? Oh. Yeah, none of these are worth it. something. Of course, the hiss are already here. first time I'm realizing that I can just blow through walls. <laughs> that is good to know. Whoa. Looks like the house has gotten a little wild in here. That seems like a dead end until I can claim the point where it shifts. It's like this is my route. This darkness is blocking the door. So now I have to deal with an interdimensional noise and sentient shadows. Light burns it away, huh? Makes sense. And we're going. 
one up. see the port for it. Oh, it's up there. Where'd it go? Oh. Just check this door. Oh, restroom door. That's going to take two points. Yeah, everything's going to be at least two points. darkness is draining me. I need a... one of the power cores.
What is that? Come on, elevator, time to go! Touches it. So you don't like the light. Use that. Where's another port? Find another place to put the light. Ah, here we go. generator. I mean another power core. What is that? See what else we can find around here. Brian Hennerman, 21 years old, resident of. Hey. Okay. Oh, let's see if the elevator works now. Man, what are you doing in investigations? Jesus, don't scare me like that, Langston. If you're talking right now, I can't hear you. It's a one way system. Try to find an intercom. Langston, it's me, Jesse. I know. I can see you on the monitors. The cameras in there haven't worked since we sealed that sector off a couple years back. Let me guess. 
You sealed it because of the monster guy. Wait, did you see Dr. Hartman? Jesus, I really wish you hadn't opened that fire break. Okay, listen, you need to find Hartman and kill him before he gets out into the Bureau. That thing is a person? He was a person. We brought him here to study after he was, uh, oh, altered in an AWE. I forget the medical word for what happened, but now light physically hurts him. Do you have a flashlight? No. Uh, a lantern? Headlamp? Oh, yeah, flare gun. Oh, Christmas lights. You could wrap them around your... I don't have any of those, Langston. Shit. Okay, uh, well, I'm sure you'll think of something. I'll keep an eye on you from the Panopticon. This is kind of exciting, right? Maybe from where you're standing. Right, okay, well, uh... Break a leg. Oh, uh, why did I say that? Okay, this Hartman thing can't have gotten very far. Let's go flush him out. Hmm. Langston was right. This is kind of exciting. Yes, it is, Jess. Yes, it is. It's another elevator. Let's see where the map is. Station operations. Okay, let's go straight ahead. Let's see if we can find a cleansing point. Anything back here? Okay. Let's take the elevator. It's just nice to have someone to talk to, you know? Ever since I got put in charge of the Panopticon, people treat me different, like I'm crazy for wanting to work with altered items. People just don't understand the altered items like I do, you know? I don't want to brag, but it does take a very empathetic mind to connect with the items. Doesn't Still, want I don't to brag. People are making it so personal. <laughs> right. I mean, the teams in research handle paranatural materials every day, and no one thinks they're weird. Well, maybe that's not true. Darling is famous for being a bit out there, but when he's weird, it's charming. Altered items really aren't that frightening once you get to know them. If you figure out what they like or don't like, you know, what sets them off, then there's nothing to worry about. I guess at the end of the day, we're still just wild animals scared of our own shadows. We're supposed to be on the same team, but sometimes it feels like it's every department for themselves, like it's a race and we're all trying to be number one. If it is a race, though, I'd say Darling is a mile ahead of everyone else. He was Trench's golden boy for years, but that relationship has gotten pretty tense, or so I've heard from the great fire. Not that I spread rumors, just, you know, people talk. Not me, though. I keep my nose to the grind. Too much work to do to focus on those kinds of things. I need to stay focused so I can get my work done and get home to feed Alfred. He's of just course, gonna talk forever, I always make it home for meal time, so yeah. I have my neighbor check in on Alfred at 7 o'clock. So, let's see, with these two points, what am I gonna do? I'm just gonna, oh no, I have enough to cap off energy. Perfect. Okay, so, since it looks like he's just gonna keep talking, I'm gonna go ahead and do my outro here. I think it's a good part for me to save um, before we go on and find Dr. Hartman. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one when we continue and find Dr. Hartman to seal that chapter. All right? See you guys next time. Peace. I'm not back yet. She's very nice. Her name is Maria 